Hey everybody, it's Kevin Kuhn with Iron Business Network, and today we're talking to you guys about the Payment Wizard within SAP Business One. So uh, to get started with this video, I actually created a couple AP, AP invoices for us to look at. So uh, during the purchasing process in Business One, whenever you add an AP invoice to the system, it triggers the need for an outgoing payment to go to that vendor to cover the cost of the uh, goods and services you purchase from them. So uh, one way to actually fulfill these outgoing payments is using the payment wizard, which allows you to either do one payment of an AP invoice, or you can do many payments of an AP invoice, and you can uh, also do it for multiple vendors too, it doesn't have to be just one vendor. So I can go through that and show you how uh, easy the functionality is. So to start, we'll find it, so if we go to banking, and then payment wizard, you'll find the window we want. So this is just the initial screen, so we'll hit next. So here is actually where you can decide either start a new payment run or you can load a saved payment run. So I actually uh, saved one before, so we'll go in and look at that one after I create a new one. But we'll start, with, we'll start fresh with a new one here. Um, here is the name of the payment run. Uh, you can change that if you'd like, just something you can identify. Uh, here's the payment run date, that's today's date. Uh, the payment type, you can either do an outgoing or an incoming payment, but since we're doing an AP invoice, we'll be doing an outgoing payment. Uh, payment means you can either do check or bank transfer. We'll use a check for ours. Uh, you, have, you can decide the numbering series. This will help you hone in more if you have multiple numbering series. Uh, and then you can also set the minimum payment amount. So let's say you have an AP invoice uh, for the $15, and I set this as 20 then that means that AP invoice of $15 won't show up because it's below the minimum payment amount. But uh, I'll leave this at zero though because I want to see all payments. We'll click next. Okay, on this page you, you can select the vendors that you want to pull AP invoices from. So we'll search from Magnetos to Green Goblin because I know all my AP, AP invoices fall in that range. And then click add to list and then you can see the five vendors I want in. Uh, you can click on these yellow arrows here to have their business partner master data records pop up so you can learn more about them. Well, you, you also have the option to exclude or any of these uh, vendors that you'd like. But I'm going to include them all for our, for our video here. Click next. Okay, on the document parameters uh, page here, you can set decide the posting date. And I made all my posting dates today, the 26th, so I'll have that as my range. Uh, you can also sort by the due date. And I made them all due for next week, so I'll search from July 3rd to, it should be July 7th. Yep, July 7th. And then you can fill in any more uh, details that will really help you hone in on which AP invoices you want to find. Okay, so on this page here, you'll pick your payment method. And uh, we only have one checking account set up, so since we're using checks, we need to pull from the checking account. Click Next. Um, and then here, we can actually drop down and see the AP invoices that uh, were found for us. These are our recommendations for which AP, AP invoices we should pay based on the criteria we searched earlier. Uh, you can see that we have two invoices for this vendor and one invoice for this vendor. Um, you can also see the, some of the balances due and displays the total outgoing from our company. Uh, you can choose to exclude any of these if you'd like. So say I didn't want to pay this invoice, I can uncheck that and then it would be reflected down here. And then I can also decide to uncheck all of, all of that vendor and I'll pay either just by hitting that check mark and it's reflected down here. But I do want to, I do want to pay for all of them. So check them all, I hit next. Okay, so now I have the option to either save recommendations or execute the payment run. Um, so I already, saved, I already saved one, and we'll go through that way after this. So I'm going to execute this one. So I have execute payment runs checked, and then I'll hit next. And then I'll hit yes, I want to ex execute this. So it worked, we'll hit OK. And you can see that two payments and slash checks were both added. And that's because we had two vendors that we had to pay for their services. So over here on the right, we can actually uh, print out any of the uh, documents or reports we want to see. So you can print out things like checks, outgoing payments, uh, etc. I'm not going to do that here though, so I'll click finish. And then I'll actually show you that uh, the outgoing payments were captured in our system. So if we go to outgoing payments and then checks for payment, if we look at the previous record here, 
you can see that the AP invoice was uh, captured here for uh, CAS Electric. And then the outgoing payment to pay for these two AP invoices for uh, Magnetis was also captured. And then the nice thing about uh, Business One is that it not only captures that in the banking module, but it also captures it and puts it in our accounting system too. So if you go to Financials and then Journal Entry, and then check the uh, last journal entries added, you can see that Cas Electric was uh, the vendor account was actually debited, and then our checking account was credited. So it captured that for us, and then it did the same thing for Magnetos. It captured those two AP invoices that we made outgoing payments for. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do uh, the Payment Wizard utilizing the Saved option. So we'll get back to Payment Wizard here. Uh, hit Next to this initial screen, and then we'll hit Load Saved Payment Run. So this is the one I saved before the video. Um, we'll hit Next. All you can do is highlight, then hit Next. So yeah, we already have the parameters set for us. Click Next. All the vendors are picked for us. Next. Uh, the posting dates checked, the due dates checked for us. The checking account set up for us. Okay, and then here are the AP invoices that I want to make payments for. So these ones are different than the ones I had prior. Uh, so I can still do the same options. I can still exclude any ones I want, but I do want to pay all these. And these are different vendors too than the we had prior. So hit next. Okay, and I can also save recommendations again if I'd like, but that'd be redundant at this point. So I'm actually going to execute it. So I'll have execute payment run checked. And I'll hit next. Yes, I want to execute. Okay, so it worked. And then you can see the two checks and uh, payments were added again. You saw the same options, uh, print any of the things out over here. I'll hit finish. And then just to show you that it worked, we'll go and show it. And then the Cast Electric uh, AP invoice was added again. And then the AP invoice for AP invoices for both, the two of them for Jokers were both added as well. So I can exit out of that. And uh, yeah, that's what I got for you guys today with Payment Wizard. So uh, thank you guys for watching.